Hi guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I created this eye look. Um, because of the way the lighting is in my room, I'm going to have to come up close. So yes, my face is going to be right in your face as you're watching this. But yeah, apologies, I sound a little bit nasally, but that's because I'm actually recovering from a cold. So, yeah. But I thought I'd film a video just to keep me going, really. Um, and I felt like doing a video anyway so let's get right into this video before I start um, the three palettes that I use so I use the revolution marvelous mattes um, deep dyed by revolution and then I use the um, cranberries and chocolate palettes to create this beautiful look that I really love okay let me zoom zoom Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, so to prime my eyes, I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define, and this is in the, the color C12. All right, so that's nicely blended, just gives a bit of a nice tacky base. I'm going to go into the um, Marvelous Matte and the colour that I'm going to use is this beautiful deep purple here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to apply that onto my crease but I'm going to pat it on. Look at that. that way I get most of my pigment. Taking another brush, I'm now going to go into the Cranberries and Chocolate palette. I had to remember that, and I'm going to take the colour called the shade called Wine, which is like a burgundy, and I'm just going to use that to blend out the crease. And I forgot to put a bit of powder underneath in case I fall out. Alright, going back into the original colour that I used in my crease, I'm just going to go back and pat that in to emphasise. Okay, that's nicely blended. I'm now going to go into the deep dive palette that I showed you guys and from here I'm going to use this it's like, I kind of, it's like an icy silvery blue um, shade look at that pigment though four pounds Going back into the Marvelous Mattes and I'm going to take that deep dark purple again and wear and just blend that out. Blend the colours together. Ooh. I'm loving it. Going back into the deep dive, I'm now going to go and use, where is it? I'm going to use this deep blue shade. Using the um, deep, deep dive, I'm now going to take this, um, I don't even know how to describe it, it's like um, silvery gold, I guess, so I'm going to take this shade and apply that in my inner corner. Hi baby, hey, sorry baby's moving. So that's pretty much the eye look. What I'm going to do is just go off camera 
and put on my eyelashes. But just for reference, the lashes I'm actually using are the Lash Couture and it's by Kiss and this is what it look like. And they're called Lacey. Right, I'm back. So, it took me quite a bit of time to put on my lash, this one lash. You know when your lash just doesn't want to stick on? So, and my eye was getting watery. Anyway, so I've done that. I'm now going to go back into the Marvelous Matte and I'm going to take the Deep Purple, this shade. So I've just zoomed out so you guys can now see me do the rest of my face. So I've already contoured my face and set it and I used um, the uh, Dark Palette by Nip and Fab to do that. I'm now just going to apply some blusher, you know, bring this face back to life. If there's one piece of like makeup that I could not live without, I think it probably would be blusher. I love a little bit of blusher. So, as my for my blush, I'm going to use this orange um, colour here. Is it a colour or shade? I don't know, same thing. To deepen up that blush a little bit, I'm going to go back into the Cranberries and Chocolate Palette and I'm going to use the shade Wine. Yes, okay. For my lips, I'm going to use this chunky lip stick by Revolution Pro and I can't remember the name of it. Right, I'm now just gonna set my face with the uh, Makeup Academy, MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Mattifying Fixing Spray. Ooh. So here we are with the end look. What do you guys think? I love this, this is like full glam chic i really love the eye look come on let's just let's appreciate look at that let's appreciate 